now, how can you have one that's bullish and one that's bearish? Well, what this tells me is that there's probably going to be a pump on this chart due to this structure, 27,934. So for us to have big round structure on top of old support is bullish. It's actually a bullish thing. So we actually expect prices up here to be hit. Bitcoin is looking bullish. So this is going to be able to go down and still be ready for the big, big punch. This chart is on a weekly and it's on a daily. They both tell the similar story of energy flowing in on this line. When this chart goes up, your cryptos go down. So I'm expecting a big crash and this would be the perfect bull trap because if they're going to collapse the markets in a big way, you need to pass it on to bag holders. You need to, you need to pass it on to the dumb money. So you need to trick a lot of people into buying at the last minute. And what these people are going to be doing is they're going to be buying at these tops that's not in alignment with the market wins. Hello team, today is July 26, 2022 and there's been a lot of uh, things happening in the market in preparation for this week's activity. Uh, one of the biggest things that we are expecting for as a reminder to everyone is that we see a major, major wave. It's like a tsunami that's going to be coming in. In fact, it's already uh, been fulfilled as, uh, as far as the target. We were waiting for price to come down to these levels possibly even 5.79 area. Now it's not really a level because it's actually angle, so it's, a, it's an area. Um, but that area is around the 644 area. Now this is a daily chart, so each one of these is one day, and we can already see that this line has already been fulfilled. So everything is ready to go almost at any moment, we could be experiencing a big rise. So now we're waiting for things to come in alignment. But when this chart goes up, your cryptos go down. So please bear in mind, now this is a big, big one. So I'm expecting a big crash okay because this rounding like this is indicative of a big crash now you can already see we, we went up the other day okay we've been sitting on here sit 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 we popped up but we only popped up to this resistance so it's but more it's also likely we're going to come back down bitcoin is looking bullish but for bitcoin to be bullish and this for it to be in alignment this should be high up so that when bitcoin has its pump this will go down so this is going to be able to go down and still be ready for the big big punch this chart is on a weekly and it's on a daily. They both tell the similar story of energy flowing in on this line. Okay, so this is energy flowing in. This is why at the end of the month, possibly at the end of the month, things are gonna get dangerous. Now I had a dream that I saw a big danger on July 29th and I had that dream about two months ago. So I had I saw a big danger. I also saw a pump towards uh, back, like a, recover, uh, a pump in August. But when I looked at the numbers in my dream, it appeared that it was more of a recovery in August. So I also saw that there was a period of like about one or two days where there was just blood in the water and everyone was just like, what do we do? And they didn't know what to do. And I called up my friends and hey, we need to be buying at these bottoms because it is going to be a bottom. If you compare that with some of the intel we heard uh, earlier last month about there, there, there still being some more downside and a major player was going to default. Well, we didn't hear about any major player defaulting. So these big banks and institutions are still waiting for a default. Now we heard of the real, the real estate market defaulting and we started seeing stuff that's happening in China with the, the, the people, uh, the banks shutting down. We also saw this month exchanges shutting down, but none of the big, big exchanges are, are, are still shut down yet. And the market is still, for the most part, hasn't crashed since Luna. So we kind of just been building health since the first Luna crash. So all this points to still one more moment. I compare this to Melody's dream. She had a dream where the big tree fell, but it didn't fall all the way. It kind of just stopped. And then later on it fell. I combine this with other dreams that you guys sent me about there being a lot of still uh, a big, big crash after a pump. Okay, so a big pump and then crash. Now they were seeing a pump in Bitcoin. So if we combine this information with the Bitcoin chart, Okay, now we're going to look just quickly at Bitcoin so you guys all know what Bitcoin's doing. We're still expecting a pump on Bitcoin at certain price levels. And I'm going to show you where it's at. All right. This is the lines that we're expecting support to come on. Okay. I'm going to move this down to the bottom so you can see it's just to highlight this red line. So I'm going to make sure I bring that in full focus. Okay, full opacity. Today, or over the last couple of days, we've seen price come back here this is still healthy in fact it's now rounding so this is really good for this maneuver 
Okay, this is the maneuver I always draw on almost every chart. Okay, but we already, this is why I'm showing this arrow up here like this because we're expecting this. Now when I draw a white box, that means I am expecting a target to be hit higher up. But as time goes on, this, this target's gonna get lower because it's dependent on time. So if it went up today, the highest it's gonna hit, if it went up today, which it's not gonna hit go up today, I don't think so. But if it went up today, that number is gonna be approximately 27,934. So for us to have big round structure on top of old support is bullish. It's actually a bullish thing. So we actually expect prices up here to be hit, but this, now how can you have one that's bullish and one that's bearish? Well, what this tells me is that there's probably going to be a pump on this chart due to this structure, but it's not going to change the whole USDT.D situation on the weekly chart and on the daily chart there. Because when you're dealing with structure on the weekly chart, you're talking about the bigger fish. The bigger fish is the principle of the, the strongest fish in the pond is going to eat the other fishes. And he thinks he's the biggest strong. Bitcoin thinks he's the baddie until USD on the weekly chart shows, no, I got to trade. And I'm going to wipe you out. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So I wouldn't be surprised if you start seeing support at this level, right? Uh, or at this on top of this line. Okay. And we're seeing a pump. Okay. We're seeing a pump in the volume on this down bar. And then also this little bar right here has also almost the same exact volume. But we're closing now towards the highs. What does that tell us? Well, according to volume spread analysis, this increases the probability that this candle right here included a lot of buying, hidden buying, okay? Because the volume is almost the same as this long red candle, but this candle didn't end cool down. It ended at the top or a close. So how can you have all that activity? What is that? It's most likely hidden buying. If the next bar is up bar, especially if it's on higher volume, it's even more confirmation that there was buying in this area. So we can cover that again possibly tomorrow during tomorrow's group. But what I'm saying is, it's very likely we're going to see buying at this area and support, as I told you guys on uh, yesterday in the in our 8 a.m. class. So please be looking for a possible pump. And, and if Bitcoin goes up, you're going to see a lot of pump. But this means that this pump is most likely going to be temporary, very quick and very short lived. Again, if I'm seeing a pump on one smaller chart and a bigger chart shows weakness that can take a longer time. That short, that pump can be short, but then the wave will still come and wipe out all of the gains that that makes. And this is in alignment with the dreams that people are telling me that they saw a Bitcoin pump to around 30,000 or so, which these are the 30,000 numbers up here. Okay, up here is 30,000. So it's possible we may see a spike up to these level, uh, uh, prices come to these levels and a spike even to the sword cut up here at around, I'm gonna give you that number, 37. Here's the next resistance below that, the next main one, 34. Okay, so these are these are possible roofs. If it happened tomorrow, these are the possible roofs. I wouldn't be surprised if we have a candle close here, spike up to here, and come right back down and close on these levels. After it closes, the tsunami is going to come in, and it's going to go down. And this would be the perfect bull trap, because if they're going to collapse the markets in a big way, if the markets are going to collapse in a big way, you need to pass it on to bag holders. You need to you need to pass it on to the dumb money. So you need to trick a lot of people into buying at the last minute. And what these people are going to be doing is they're going to be buying at these tops that's not in alignment with the market winds. They're like going in the wrong direction because the winds is that tsunami coming in that's telling us down movement, down movement, down movement. So that one is going to bring the markets down and Bitcoin saying, yay, go high guy. Look, Bitcoin's going to hit the roof. So if you see that pump possibly tomorrow, Okay, then you know it's dangerous. So if you were going to be getting into, into Bitcoin, I don't want anybody asking me, hey, should I be buying Bitcoin at 27,000? No, unless you're breaking. No, not even that because we're going against the market wins. Okay, so if you're going to be buying Bitcoin, you need to be buying it on this level because that's already the structure you want. That's that round shape that I draw all the time. Okay, this is the round. So if you are going to be buying Bitcoin, you need to buy it at these prices to go up. All right, so I'm just giving this recap to everybody. Most of you guys already know what's going on. But remember that we're expecting the pump from these prices to here, not from here 27,000 up higher. If it goes up higher, praise God, but to me, my target's already been fulfilled. So I want to get out of a lot of my cryptos when Bitcoin's hitting this number. I want to get out of a lot of cryptos because there may be a crash. This includes a possibility that Luna will have a pump as well tomorrow, Luna Classic. 
and when that pump at the same time a Bitcoin but if Bitcoin goes down you might see the whole market go down and Luna also could suffer and that goes in alignment with the dream I posted on, 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 on uh, YouTube about two weeks ago so this is kind of important to think about team okay so this is this is really important to, to think about your moves I'm giving you what should be happening or the, what the data is showing is the most likely scenarios and sometimes you have to think objectionably because you have to look and weigh out both circumstances one chart says we're going down one chart says we're going up but this chart is way bigger but it's lower this chart is smaller but faster so this fast one may hit the target and then the wave comes in and destroys so we're thinking two to three moves in advance and how it will affect other cryptocurrencies such as Luna we may see Luna pump Luna is coming now towards its key angle. It's coming to the key angle. But look at now we got this round structure at a sword cut that was based on previous structure. So I'm going to show you where that is. To go up. Everything in this video is not financial investment or trading advice of any kind. Everything is just for entertainment, educational, and comedic purposes only. Bear in mind that I eat red crayons for breakfast, and so, so should you guys too. But if you get sick, please remember that eating red crayons, trading in the markets carries a substantial risk. Never eat more red crayons than you can afford to throw up and never eat more, uh, never trade more than you can afford to lose. Please read between the lines per my YouTube disclosure.